All right, so we've been going over uh, uh, Masterclass uh, Mochi section on back uh, back games, and we're gonna we're gonna pretty much conclude his section with by going over his his quiz problems or fifteen quiz problems. So it'll take uh, probably three sessions to do that. Um, but they cover a variety of things, so they're and they're all always very interesting to do. Um, so let's get started into them. Here's uh his first quiz problem, and um, we've got a six four to play. So what are we going to do here, and and why? It's very difficult because our timing for the back game is uh, uh, fairly bad. So, yeah, well, yeah, just to go back to that, uh, what is the timing for this? This is a one three back game. And what's kind of the minimum timing you need? Or, or if you remember, uh, the most you came up with it. 70 pips around 70, I think. 90. Minimum? Well, okay. Let me put let me put the chart up again. So it's the one two back game is ninety. Now, and this is the number. These are the numbers that he shows with Cook, and and it, again, we're talking about the pip deficit. So he came up with eighty seven somehow. He didn't explain how. So I took the liberty. I guess is I can't remember eighty seven fifty nine forty eight forty three and so forth. But I can remember ninety sixty fifty forty five and so forth. And these are kind of close enough. Yeah. Um, because this isn't a hard. This isn't a hard and fast number. It doesn't matter if it's just like it's not 87, you have enough, and 88, you have too much, or 86, you don't have enough. It's kind of this is the general area. So, uh, and these numbers are easy for me to remember because the, the farthest one is 90, the 1, 2, and then the the uh, 1, 3 is 60, and the 2, 3 is 50, and everything else is like five pips more or less under that, depending on how many, uh, which, which back once you have. So here we've got the one three back game and we've got 60. 60 is the mount. Is, is the, but, well, I think the key thing here is that's kind of the minimum. And if you don't have that much enough, you're you're kind of shorthanded for that. That doesn't mean that's the ideal amount. Um, and, you know, there's, uh, and, and, and Mochi doesn't go into that very much, uh, what the ideal amount is. Uh, but it's also possible to have too much and that uh, too much too much of a pip deficit. So you know, if we can, you know, if we stacked, you know, five checkers there, now we've got a uh, hundred and six pip deficit. And um, does that does that mean we're better off? Well, no, because yeah, we have these pips here, but we can't use them. Our board is likely to crash because we can't get them out from the six point up to the two, and then out to where they can go around. So, uh, you know, why the, why the, uh, the you know, the 90, 60, 50 uh, estimate, it, it's useful. I, I find it more useful in terms of, well, okay, what, do, do we want to play the back game at all? Or even, in the, is that even something to consider? Or should we just get out of it? Do, do we want to break an anchor uh, or something like that to, to not play the back game? Um, one of the, actually, I've been told one of the, one of the rules of back games is, you know, try not to play the back game. It's, you, you, you know, too too uh, many times you're going to get gamut. So, but but that's not always the case. You know, sometimes uh, your alternative is to play a back game or uh, play a, a single point game, an ace point or a deuce point game or a three uh, three point game, which aren't very good. So here you know, here the question is: uh, there are a number of things we could do. You know, we could make the four point, uh, and then. Uh, you know, that gets a strong board. What you don't want to do, we'll, we'll see some later examples. And Emochi talks, I don't know if you, I don't know if there were too many examples of this, but you know, you don't necessarily want to hit off the back end before you have a board, uh, before or, or at least a prime so that to contain your opponent with. Um, so here we, you know, we barely, you know, yeah, we've got it to the five point and the eight point, and maybe we'll, we can get a prime out of it, but um, we don't have it yet. And so, you know, that's kind of an indication that, well, maybe we shouldn't be, uh, you know, looking, well, it's just, we're not ready yet. So, um, so, you know, so making, you know, but 
you know, so we maybe we make the prime, but what we what do we what would we really like to do? Um, well, we'd like to have one of these two points, seven or the nine, or we'd like to have more timing. Um, so where did that leave? What what are some what are some feasible plays here? And I pointed out the making the four point, and I'll give you a hint. That's wrong. Well, if you slot the bar point, and you're hoping to make it, and alternatively, your hit that might improve your timing. Yeah. So yeah, we could slot this point, and what did you say with the four? You can even slot the nine, but uh, you go flat out then for being hit. Yeah. Yeah. So that would certainly give us more timing. Black is almost forced to hit us if he wants to come out. Um, uh, and, it's, uh, maybe, and the question sort of is, is that is that going to be too much timing? Because um, there is, a you know, again, if he, if he hits two or three of these, you know, and we're on the bar and, uh, and they get stacked uh, on the ace point or something like that, then we, you know, then we're in worse shape. Um, so, and I and I will I will give you a hint that this one and this one is not good for that reason. Uh, it's, it you know gives you too much time. You're going to hit hit probably twice. Uh, uh, and you may well come in and dance. You, you may not. Uh, you may well come in with a three six or something like that, but um, so uh, these are one of the things that that uh, sort of I, I guess if there's a criticism of Moshi's books is that uh, he often will look at the answer. He often talks about the timing, and it look, makes it look like you always should want to get hit, but and doesn't really tell you how you tell whether you want to get hit or not. So let's look at the top plays, or some of the top plays. Okay, so the top play is actually this one. Okay, so we're, we're sliding the four point, we're also sliding the nine point. Um, if black can't hit us, we could make this nine point that that might force black to, black to crack before uh um you know before he can get this guy out uh he's he may hit us uh and that would give us more time we'd like to get hit probably by one checker uh maybe two but as opposed to this this is second best play this is probably too many. Now, I don't know how you exactly decide this, what criteria there are to, to say that this is too many and this is the right amount. Um, but, you know, that would be the reasoning. Uh, here's the third best play. Again, a lot of checkers. Black is almost forced unless he gets a six something to hit here. That'll put one checker back. Um, this is the third best. Again, this is not the, this looks, it looks good because you, you're building the prime in it, and it's not terrible for that reason. But uh, you'd really like a checker back at this point where you're on, on your borderline. And here uh, again, after the roll, we're at 63 pips, and so that's that. You know, that's kind of around the minimum you need there. So, um, but it only takes one. You know, one short roll by black and a long roll by us, or big roll, uh, and then we're. You know we're 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 out of timing already. So um, yeah, so these these are you know these are tough ones. Um, and yeah, you know, and you, but if you use the the uh, the guideline the the uh, pip uh, deficit chart, um, you sort of get an idea uh, of, of what to do here. Um, um, and again, you, you, you're, you're barely at minimum, at minimum time, so you really could use more timing, and you're not really ready. You can't really contain this guy with the checkers that you have. So you got to 
you know, do what you can. Hope, hope that you'll get hit. Um, okay, let's go to the second one. Okay, so here's another situation. One, four. Obviously, we're going to come in into one. And what do we do with the four? Um, so, I, you know, the first question is, okay, we can hit. We can hit with this one. We can hit with this one. Uh, we can break our anchor by coming out to here. Break the back game. Or we can go eight to four or six to two. So what do we, what do we think about this one? Well, uh, our timing's not too bad for this 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 time. Yeah, it was. A, it's a two three back game, and that was fifty pips. So we got seventy five. So it's not terrible. But do we have any way of containing? If we were going to hit black, do we have any way of containing? Not really, but yeah, not really. Yeah, I mean, no inner board points, no prime. I mean, we got the six and the eight, which is nice. We didn't lose them. <laughs> we started out with those, and we got you know eleven and thirteen. This is uh, good Swiss cheese. So you know, probably, um, probably we, you know, probably we don't want to do that. There is, yeah. There's a point that, that Mochi makes occasionally and didn't really emphasize it, but again, don't, you know, if you're going to play the back game, get, make sure you have a, a prime or something to contain black or make sure that you can't complain that before you, you give up the back game. So hitting here is going to give up, the, not give up the back game, but it's going to set our timing back, um, which is not what we want. So what, what does that leave us then? Well, it's the eight or the six. If we're not going to hit, it's the eight or the six. So which would be better? Eight. Yeah, obviously the eight is better because it, then the four point, we're going to want the four point. I mean, we obviously we'd rather get the five point first or, or whatever, but we certainly don't want, aren't going to want the two point. Again, the, the, the back end you want to um, contain and having heavy deep points like the ace or the deuce point is not is not very strong. So the answer here is that there's really no good answers. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, so it is eight to four. Um, <coughs> eight to four. Actually, and heading is actually the second best play, 11 to seven. Uh, it might be, well, at least because that, that, you know, that's the best point you can slot. Um, it's not very good. Breaking the back game is 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 really bad. Your back game is your best chance here. Um, <laughs> again, these are these are you know the, the, the hitting out the thirteen is the, is the wrong one, the wrong game plan. And second, if you're going to do that, the wrong point to hit up. Uh, and then breaking and then coming in again. That's that's a better game plan, but it's the wrong point to slot. So that makes that an ear. Okay. Okay. All right, let's switch to some cube uh, action. And uh, there was a chart on this I'll show you shortly, but does anyone remember what the cube action is here and what the general rule is? Oh. <sighs> Clear the uh, the third point. Uh, three, three it's points. on the margin, that isn't it? Wait, wait, you've got to clear three points in front of the back game anchors. Yeah, clear. so when it says it's usually three to three. Well, well, I'll show you the chart in a minute. But it's it's three points and three points in front. Is that is that when you start thinking about doubling? Or is that when you start thinking about dropping? 
Evelyn. Oh, um, it's when you start thinking about doubling, I think. Oh, okay. I think, oh, no, well, not with. I thought, I thought three points is when you think about doubling, am I wrong? I'm sorry, Jim, I couldn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought three points is when you consider, I thought you don't want to double with four points. I thought you want to double with three points, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, well, you're, yeah, it was sort of, it's time to go back and memorize the chart. <laughs> okay. There are only two two things to memorize, really. Yeah. It's four, it's four, three, or three, two. Were you going to double at four and drop or bear take at three or double at three and bear take at two? So if you have a deep, a deep back game, you're going to double when you have three points to clear and you're going to drop when you have two, mm. only have two. When you have a deep, when you have a higher back game, uh, or really anything that's not a deep, and for deep, it's really one, two, one, three, two, three. Uh, three, four, I don't think Mochi put on this chart, so I, he maybe didn't know what to do with it. I guess it depends. Um, other back games is four and three. So f when you have four, you're gonna double. So it's the higher back games is four and three, the low back games is three and two. So here, yeah. we've got three, and this is a high back game. So, so it's, it's three. So that would mean um, four is the double. Three is the is the take us in question. Do we, it is do we think this is a take or a pass? Well, you, your chart said take. I thought. Yeah. Well, okay. Typically, it's a take. Uh, in this case, it's a pass, yeah. but it's close. Yeah. Um, and there are a couple things about this. Uh, one is that the four or five back game is the weakest back game. Uh, really? That's part of it. Uh, also, you have a lot of spares here. I think if we had, let's say this, then it gets closer. No, actually, it's worse because you're okay. But this, in this case, it's the ratio worse. Um, but let's look at if you had um, now you get the three five back game. This one is actually a take. Mm -hmm. And with these, actually, no, it's a pass a plus to the plus plus. Yeah, it's, it's a close pass. So, um, uh, yeah, if you and if you took this one, you're not really far that far off. Um, and, you know, again, we're looking at money games. Probably the match score is going to make a difference here. If we just look at, uh, let's say, let's say white's ahead. Still pass. Uh, let's put white ahead by more. Now it's a take. So um, again, th this is a little bit more complicated to, to, to go in and look at match scores. Um, this this is probably a bigger take if we do if we do it three, where we have an even number. Well, now we're now we're uh, now we're playing. If we get gamut, we're, we're, we lose the match. So this becomes a pass. Here. If we get gammoned, oh, now it's too good. Now it's too good to double for for white. White's better off waiting. Uh, white's better off waiting uh, to go for the gammon and possibly not give up the gammon. Okay, so that. So we're we, yeah. So this this is complicated enough without going into match scores, but uh, for for a regular game, you know, this this is the borderline. Uh, three checkers clears the borderline take pass, and the two examples we looked at, they were actually passes, but they were they were small passes. So if you actually took them, that's okay. Uh, the money, uh, the the score is going to uh, is going to come into play as well uh, if you're playing a match and. We, we <laughs> All right. Oops. Hope don't.
problem solving answer. So here, this is a, uh, this is a fun one. Two on the play. Bar 24, 24, 22. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, you, you're going, you could, so it's probably that. So you're either going to play the back game, as so that's what Jim is saying. Come in on the ace, don't hit, go to the two. Uh, that's that's playing the back game. Um, oh, you don't have enough pips, so you got to move up. Is that what you're saying? Okay, yeah, there's another, yeah, well, that, that's, yeah. Another question is, okay, right now we're playing the 1-3 back game. We could play the 2-3 back game. Right. You have better time. Uh, the one three requires sixty pips. The, the minimum. The two three requires fifty pips. Um, however, if we do hit and, and step up our step up the back game, we're giving up twenty three pips right. with the hit. Um, the, the what's the, what's the other option? Suppose we we decide we don't want to play the back game. Uh, hit and cover the seven. Yep, that's one. There's one other option, though. Probably better if you don't want to play the back game. Oh, uh, hit on the 12 point. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hit and, yeah, 13 Double hit. 12. Yeah. Double hit. Yeah. Double hit. And, you know, the, when you look at this, the question is okay, you, you can play a back game. Um, and it, it was a good timing, um, and you started to, you know, make a board, um, or you can get, you can get away from the back game and put two behind a, what's likely to be a four prime, but you've got this to deal with. You've got, you've got your own four, you've got your own five prime to deal with. And so the question is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you decide that? And um, <laughs> the answer is, I don't know how you decide that. <laughs> uh, I read Moshi's answer. It's not. Um, it's it, 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 it doesn't help. Uh, he goes to the basic idea of, well, if you, you want to play a back game, you need you need timing. Uh, and so don't, don't hit black checkers when you need time. So, uh, that's true, but what we've seen is it's not always true here. You have a choice of, do you play the back game or not? Um, and he doesn't really go into that. So, uh, uh, you know, and I, I would say that for, with five checkers back, that's probably the signal that you don't have, you know, you don't have enough checkers to, to prime, um, uh, and so it's it's actually the uh, Jim's play was right. Let's look at these others. Um, so the hitting plays here. Uh, this one is the one that goes to uh, make. No, that's not that. That's hitting and stepping up, but keeping the one three. Here's the double hit. Uh, where is the 24-23 play? Oh, this one. Okay. And so that's, that's switching, stepping your back game up. Okay. So here, not playing the back game, or playing the back game and giving yourself the best timing uh, is is the correct play. Um, I you know I think it has to do with okay you've got a five prime in front of you and that's pretty tough uh, to deal with. Uh, you you really got to hope that you're better off waiting for the hit. Uh, you don't really have uh, enough here yet. You don't have the checkers actually to do that. You can get the four prime probably will get the four prime, but. Um, 
yeah, you know, how long can you hold it? You need you need to roll a six right away to give more timing to hold it. Um, and with with putting checkers back, black is going to have likely to have more time to hop out uh, and not crash his board. Now you could crash his board actually, so it's not, uh, you know, it's 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 it, it, this makes it harder to judge. Uh, this this play was this this is switching up. So here, you know, we're stepping up to the two three back game where we need less timing, but we just gave Black a whole lot of timing by putting him on the bar. So that was, you know, we're sort of counterproductive doing that. So that was not the best idea. Um, Hating and Cup stepping forward. Again, we're, we, we're giving Black more timing. Um, and now, you know, now we, we actually need more timing. Uh, so that, again, wrong idea. The double hit. Um, Again, wrong idea. Black uh, would likely to make the four prime, but with two back, uh, we're like our board is likely to crash before uh, Black's is. So uh, that's the problem. Those are there. Those are all things that are kind of hard to judge. There's no obvious statement. There's no obviously pointers here, other than you know a five prime. You probably don't want to mess around with. Um, you're probably best off waiting for the back game, waiting for it to come to you. Um, because just hopping over, you have to bring five checkers over five prime um, to get this to work, or to hope that black, you know, is forced to crash. So um, we we're we we're better off waiting for the back game. Okay. Uh, I did a variation of this. You can actually do a ton of variations of this. Um, so I'll just show it. Uh, without looking at so so the, the thought was well, what if you already had two checkers back here um so now what do you do uh and it turns out that in this case it's it's a borderline choice now um you can either hit putting the third checker back and make your four prime uh or not hit and step up uh Preserve your time. I mean, hope that black black may be forced to hit you to come out here. Um, and so, it, you know, in this case, it's either either the back game or trying to play the forward game. Uh, it's 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 a wash. I would point out though that in either case, this position, it, you've got thirty three percent wins, um, and and the other position. Oops, let me put it on there. Gia. Not that one. <laughs> this one. So in this position, you've got 48% wins. Wow. So this is a huge, you know, a huge difference. And, and you know, here, here in the back game is a pretty good play. It's a 50-50 game. Uh, now, the, it's, it's, you're not favored here because Black has a lot of gamuts here for this game. But here, you know, 48% to win, that's pretty good for a back game. Whereas in this other position... This one, it's this one, yeah. And this one, you know, the best you can do is 33% wins or 35% wins. So uh, you're in a much weaker position here, even though you've got two checkers back behind what is likely to be a four, four prime. What could be, a, well, what would be a four prime in this case? But again, you're playing, now you're playing prime versus prime and you got five checkers back against a five prime versus three checkers back against the four prime. Uh, that's another way to look at it. So, okay. Let's go on to the next one. So this is an interesting uh, position. Um, it's, 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 this is not what, this is a, this is a different game. This is a different uh, uh, question here. Because white has four checkers off. 
Uh, and the question here is, okay, you've got four checkers to place. Where do you want to place the checkers? So this is kind of a mochi quiz. <laughs> White has four checkers to place. Where do you want to place the checkers? And they have to be... Um, I guess you could put them up here. I don't think that's what he had in mind. It's not what he had in mind. This is his back. So you, if you've got to play, which back end do you want to play? I guess is, is the way to put it. So you can put your four checkers wherever you want in these three spots. So uh, what what do you want and how do you decide that? Oh. Well, what's the most important thing of, of for the back end? Timing. Timing. So let's see if we put our checkers here. Well, we do the one in the middle. There's, you know, we could do it here, and we've got seventy-seven pips of timing. We could put our checkers here, and we've got seventy-five, or here, and we've got seventy-three. What's our best situation for us? Well, again, you go back to the, our our chart. Bring it back out. If we're gonna if we're gonna play the one two back in, oops, we need ninety pips. We've got seventy seven. If we're gonna play the one three back in, we've got seventy five pips, but we, and we need sixty. So here, the one three has got to be better than the one two for this situation. We put our checkers there. This is a two three back game. We only need 50 pips. So now if we put it here, we have a well-timed back game. Whereas if we put it here, we have a poorly timed back game. So um, now you're, you'll probably never play a game where you get to select where you want to put your checkers, but um, the idea is to, is to demonstrate the importance of, of, of the timing and being aware of, of what you need. Um, now, he didn't actually, I didn't look at this. Let's do double action. And this is a 27% wins, giving up 32% uh, gammons. And this one is 39%. Now, yeah, so look at, yeah, so look at this again. I didn't look at this before, but from this position, with a well-timed backing, we've got 39% wins. We get 4% gammons and we give up 22% gammons. In this position, this is a poorly timed back game. And we've only got 27. 27% 27 versus 39 and 32%. We give up 32% gammas, and I forgot what we gave up before. But you know, this, so this is a huge, it's a huge difference. And it's all because of the timing. Okay. Which you can know by you know, remembering that that chart or that you know 90, 60, 50 is what I remember. Um Okay, let's do. Mm, already. More. So here's another fun problem. <sighs> Six two to play. Well, I'm sure we're going to make the five. Five prime. I'm not sure whether we're going to hit our root, but yeah. So that's the first thing you want to make the eight point. That's the five prime, and so you're going to do it by moving this checker. 
from there to there. And the question is, Oh, two eight. Oh. do you hit it or do you or do you go six first and then two? So let's look at this. Are we better off with this? I I'd say yes. Yeah, well, we're pretty good with this. This is, you know, Yeah, actually, yeah, six two. or are we better off with this? The trouble with that is you don't want to make in two points in your home board. That's right. Exactly. Uh, normally, you know, an extra checker back is good. Um, but in this case, if we put him back, uh, we give them the chance to make the three, four back game, Exactly. uh, which, which is a great benefit to him. And, and he's already got the timing to do it. Uh, the three, four back game is like 40 pips you need. He's got 52 already. Um, so let's put it back. That's a good example of not hitting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So. a good example of not hitting. So, yeah. So here's, yeah. Oh, we're going to do any finals. Okay. Yeah. So again, here's the hit. It's the worst play. It's actually a blunder. This is the best play making it without uh, hitting. No hit. Uh, and actually the middle play is, is hitting twice. Um, this one, you know, this may be the right play at certain match scores where you you need really need a gammon, a gammon go or something like that. Because you see the gammons are 26% versus 14%, but the wins are down 76 to 69. So uh, there may be match scores where you'd want to do that. But here, here's a good example of, you know, don't hit, don't give your opponent a, a chance to, to play the back game. Um, cause let's look at, mm -hmm. uh, let's here, if we have this with black on the bar, let's look at the chances of winning here. Black's got 28% to win. And let's put him back here. I guess we see that anyway. Black's got only 23% to win. I guess that's the same way of looking at it the other way. Um, anyway, but a good example of, okay, uh, another another take on this, which we didn't cover at all, but it, it's, uh, you know, if you, you don't give your opponent the chance to play the back game when the back game would be in his favor, you'd much rather him play a, a you know, a, here's a four point anchor game, four point holding game. Um, where you have a five prime in front of him. So uh, much better than giving them a chance to make the, the three, four backing, even though the three, four backing isn't that great of a game. But you know, let's put it back here. And black is up to 30% wins here. Okay, that is it for tonight. We'll cover some more next time, more quiz problems. And uh, we're about finished with that, this chapter.